Hey, what's up, Scott Balkan here with Imagination Creation Films, and today we're going to talk about how to stay organized and keep notes like a pro. So in order to become a very successful filmmaker, or even just a successful one, you're gonna have to learn to get organized. And in order to get organized, you're gonna need to learn to take some notes. Collaborating with other filmmakers is a plus, and we have a lot of options for you that cost little to no money. But before we do, I'd like to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and click subscribe to this channel because hey, we love each other. You should just you know join the community. And also I do have a Patreon if you wanna support me that way. Every little bit helps. It helps me make great content just like this. All right, let's dive in. The very first one we're gonna talk about is Google Keep. Now, Google Keep is a cross-platform uh, through web uh, way to take notes that is actually shareable and usable. It does go against your Google uh, account, so you get, what, 15 gig that you can store, which is a lot of notes but it allows you to mark it up, keep little, keep track of little things, uh, make some task lists, some regular lists, and share those with others. And it is a good option to use. The next one we're gonna talk about is Evernote. Now Evernote's been around for a long time, and I've used it off and on over the years. Uh, it is a free at first, and then it starts to cost you as you wanna do more and more things. So that's why I stopped using it. But Evernote, for free, you can use it on two devices, and it is cross-platform. There's an app for Windows, uh, there's an app for iOS, there's, app, there's apps for all, everything, and you can also use it on the web. But you can only use it for two devices for free. So it starts to limit at that point, you need to purchase a license that allows you to share it with multiple people or multiple devices but it's an option and it's pretty powerful and feature rich. The next one we're gonna talk about is Google Drive. Well, Google Drive is actually pretty simple. It's not a simple little note-taking app. It's actually where you would create some documents and put them out there and let other people have access to those. They can then mark those up and make changes to that through the Google Apps. And it's a good way to you know, kind of mark up scripts and that kind of stuff when you don't have a dedicated sharing script sharing software. That's a lot of sharing in one thing. But it's a, it's a good alternative and it only costs nothing with your base account. And it goes against your 15 gig or whatever it is that Google gives you. But it's a good option and one to consider. The next one we're gonna talk about is Microsoft OneNote. OneNote's actually free. It's cross-platform. There's an app for iOS, there's an app for Android, there's an app for Windows, an app for Mac. You can install it everywhere. You can also use it on the web and it's pretty powerful. Allows you to share all your notes with other people, collaborators and friends. Uh, you know, I don't really like pitching for Microsoft, but gosh, you know, they kind of made a good product here. It's the one that I have now switched to and have been using a lot lately and it's uh, pretty powerful. So it's definitely one that you're gonna wanna check out because hey, free is good. I like free, I like it a lot. The next one we're gonna talk about is Apple Notes. Now, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, Apple Notes is a great way for you to share amongst friends and keep notes and track them across all your devices so that you have access to them all and they sync it, just like OneNote does and Evernote and all the others. The problem with, uh, with Apple Notes is it is cross-platform, but only through the web. So if you have a Microsoft device, you're gonna need to uh, use the web version of iCloud to get to those notes. Same thing with Android, all those others. There's no apps for those. So if you're in the Apple ecosphere, notes is a fantastic way to do it until you find that buddy who just switched over to Windows, like some people, like most people that are doing it in this professional world, it's kind of odd. Uh, yeah, so consider notes to be a no, I'll just stick with it myself in the Apple ecosphere. I'm not gonna share it with that many people, just everybody at Starbucks. And the very last option that we have is good old fashioned notebooks. Now these things are great. They are cross platform. You can write with both pen and pencil and probably shouldn't be showing that. That's got a lot of ideas in there. Uh, if you're gonna pause it and uh, steal that idea, just you know, give me credit and let me know and I'll help you work on the project. Uh, but yeah, these are great. Uh, I carry them everywhere I go because sometimes you don't have internet, sometimes you don't have power. My pen always works. And they always say the pen is mightier than the bite. I don't know that they don't say that, do they? Do they, do they say that? Oh, I, I, I said that. 
So, I mean, notebooks are fantastic. You should collect all of them. They come in uh, apple, they come in uh, grape, they come in brown, they come in leather, they come in all kinds of options. And uh, I'd highly recommend you at least use that. But as long as you start taking notes and sharing those across all of your devices, all of your pens, all of your friends, you're gonna become a better filmmaker because when you start talking, when you start collaborating, when you start sharing and you start communicating, magic happens and you become better at your task. Not to mention the fact that your friends might have a better idea. And if they're friends, they're not gonna charge you for it. Yeah. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, do feel free to put those in the comment section down below. I do try to read and respond to each and every one, even if it's just say thanks. Also, uh, if you like this, click thumbs up. If you, if you hated it, yeah, you can, you can do a thumbs down, it's, all, it's, it's fine. I, I mean, I'm not gonna, I mean, maybe I might cry a little bit. Uh, also, I do have a Patreon. If you wanna support me that way, it helps me make great content just like this for you. And uh, you know, it's kinda like a little tip jar. It's like, hey Scott, good job, here's a tip every month. Thank you, thank you very much. So, as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life, let your life center around your passions.